joined now by the tech expert Dan Sodegren. Hello to you, Dan. Thanks Morning, for joining Dan. us here on Breakfast. Um, so tell us about, well, first of all, I was surprised that there weren't um, emojis with these different kind of hairstyles, Afro hairstyles. Are, are you surprised? Well, kind of sadly not. I mean, it's almost like a, it's almost like a metaphor. As your great piece said, there's almost 4,000 emojis and none of them uh, relate to black female hair and the black female hair experience. It's almost like a metaphor for tech in general, though, sadly. Uh, in technology, you need this thing called VC funding, venture capital funding. And, uh, well, black women get about 0.2%. 0.28% over in the over in America. So that's 0.2% of the funding goes to those people. They're about 7% of the, the US population. In the UK, it's even worse. It's actually 0.24%. So that's like less than a quarter of a percent. I was just crunching the numbers with my AI and it works out it's about a tenth of what they should get. And that's kind of, it's almost like a metaphor for the thing itself. It's amazing how little funding goes to black women in technology, but it's even worse how little representation they get in these emojis. As you rightly said, 4,000 or so of them, uh, you know, technology definitely needs to change to bring in these four different designs. And why does it matter? Well, you know, as you, your point, let's put it a different way. It's the modern equivalent of not having a word in the dictionary for dreadlocks, let's say. You know, just literally not having the word. Young people use emojis so much, not just young people, of course. They worked out it's about 92% of the world's population use these emojis, of course. They are, ironically almost, you know, the, the most used communication because every country and every language can understand them. So it's actually massively important. Um, you know, the, one of the, the weird things is there was a, I think the ninja emoji came in at 2020, uh, and yet it's taken us until this time to uh, to start thinking about black women and black women having their own emojis about something which is so important to them, which of course is their hair. So, you know, it's it took, I think it's Unicorn, the, the consortium that uh, hasn't been led by a woman, I think it was in 2021, it took until 2021, it was led by a woman. You know, this kind of secret cabal that works out the Globe's uh, emoticons uh, may not have been that progressive. I think it was about five years ago that someone tried to do this before. They got a petition of tens of thousands of people saying that it should happen, and it was denied then. So I'm really hoping it's not denied now, because I'm hoping the world's moved on, because, of course, uh, you know, technology needs to be a bit more progressive and uh, needs to be a little, little bit more uh, sensible about uh, a part of the world's demographic, which is a huge part of the world, you know? Dan, morning. Ben here. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my phone now. It's astonishing, as you said. There's 4,000. But you know, who decides this stuff? Because there's like four versions of like Father Christmas. There's three vampires on here. There's kind of superheroes. Yeah. There's dancing girls. There's you know, and the stuff you might use more day to day isn't on there. So how you know who decides what goes on that keyboard? Well, it's decided, of course, it's, it's hard-coded in, so it's actually quite a big decision. It takes about two years for the whole process to actually happen. It's actually quite a big deal. And it's, uh, it's a company, of course, over in America, I think it's in San Francisco, uh, called the uh, Unicorn Consortium, a non-for-profit. But also, there are about nine different tech companies, and you'll know the names of them, of course, they're all Google and Apple and those big tech companies that, that make these decisions. And I suppose that's the point, isn't it? If the people making the decisions are predominantly, uh, you know, male and white and, you know, aren't really thinking uh, that it's important, because, of course, it's not important to them, but, of course, it's important to the people it's important to. Uh, and so, of course, that bit is the big thing. It's actually a little bit deep if you think about it, though, Ben, because if you can't see it, you can't be it. And feeling that you're not part of the conversation when everybody has a smartphone, everybody using these bits of technology, it's actually a bit more important than perhaps uh, you'd, you'd, you'd instantly think. Yeah, and it's that ability to use them to sort of you know, say something without words, and that's why these are so important. Because we should be clear, there's two sort of separate things, aren't there? There's a thing called a memoji, where you can create sort of a likeness of yourself. And then there's these emojis that are on the keypad itself, and that's what we're talking about here, because it's about how do I send a picture that says, you know, 100 words, it's a reaction, it's a thought, it's something that you don't have to type out. Yeah, absolutely. These things are hard coded in, which is why it takes a bit longer. So the technology behind it is not the same as a sticker or creating your own avatar. But it's interesting, isn't it, that actually lots of young people are using things like Snapchat, perhaps because you can start using avatars and your own pictures in those much more easily. And maybe that's because, you know, they can see themselves as they really are. And that's, a, that's something that resonates with them. So I think these technology companies really should change it as quickly as possible. As I say, we've, we've got some pretty bizarre emojis in there. Uh, and so I think really we should really have some more representation, not just for the black community, but, but for lots and lots of different people. You know, those minorities that maybe aren't shown at the moment should be. Dan, really good to talk to you. Dan Sodegren.